Welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, there's something quite special. There's a whole new shark bite version that I am going to. I have not gone to it before, so everything in it will be completely new to me. Now, the players are reset, um, besides some of the game passes. All my hair grinding for, you know, golden boat and that. Okay, I get an award for just joining. Interesting loading. Okay, this is a much better opening <laughs> screen and than Shark Bite One. So play. Oh, were there daily rewards? I I don't think there were before. There's a lot more detail. I reckon this is going to be a more complex game. It seems that it is. Ooh. Okay, so the shark's been released. Much more detailed and realistic shark. I don't know how we're supposed to use a boat when we're up here. Maybe this map isn't one where you can use a boat. Ooh, we've got little turrets. What else can I interact with? Now, will that actually fall down once disconnected? Because otherwise the shark won't be able to access up, us up here. So the shark must be able to wipe out all the pillars and have us fall down into the water. Yeah, I don't... The only thing with this is... Oh, hang on, I didn't realise I had a gun. <laughs> I forgot about sort of shooting. I'm too interested in seeing what there is to do. Oh, there. I think I hit it once. So, I assume there are, like, game modes and maps where you use boats. Because otherwise, what's the point of owning boats? <laughs> it's quite a big map. Are there other players on different platforms. I sort of need to take all of this in. So there are boats you can buy. So then there's different guns. There's quite a few similar to the ones from the other shark bite. Okay, I'm guessing this is the best shark. Okay, so fastest shark is this one. But then the killer whale seems the best overall. That's quite good in a way because before there was one best shark and there was n no reason to use any other one. But now it's sort of a compromise. You either go for speed or you go for health and what was the other one? The detail on this new map is far superior. It's a much more developed game. Okay. Well, I got hit. Okay, it does notify you quite well when you get hit with the sound as well as the red. That's a cool transition from the player to the boat, you know, point of view thing. It's good. Everything's just nicer in this. Oh no. I am definitely doomed. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> so it grabs you and then you die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> While we're here, let's have a look. Boat builder? You can make your own boat. <laughs> okay, got bubbles. So there's this boat builder. But what I'm wondering is can you use these boats? For regular shark bite or is this something separate? Okay, so I'm not really going to focus on the game this time. Instead, I'd like to try and work out how things are working in this game. So all of this makes sense to me, but not this bit, the boat building thing. C do you... Do you then use them here, or is it just a boat construction thing, or what? Doesn't... not really sure. Oh, oh, I've been gobbled up. Okay, well, at least with that I can start working things out. So then we can change the boat and make it how we want to. Not interested in that. Yeah, default. Ta Being able to make your own boat with 
powerful turrets on it, it's quite cool. So if I save and exit, what can you do with this boat? Ah, they've got a interesting shock chooser. Oh! Okay, so you can equip it here. Yeah, I don't understand what equipping a boat in this area here does, because I've equipped the ducky boat before this game, and I've still come in with the wooden sailboat, and it gives you an option to choose a boat just before the game. The fishing boat seems the best out of the first three, because out of the stats, there's nothing that beats it on any of them. So the fishing boat is best. During the night time, it's so difficult to see. Ah, I guess the game listened to me and done it today. I'm pretty sure going over here I'm gonna get demolished, but I'd like to just try and shoot the shark a few times anyway. I'm not sure if the bullets will actually reach from here, but I can try. Ah yes, I can hit from here. Oh, shark's over there now. Wait. Ooh. There's reasonably good shooting as you go along. The player can sort of shoot a lot better because they're higher in the seat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, I need to reload. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I do quite like the way the shark grabs you in its mouth and then you just get dragged a bit and then die. Oh, hang on, build your own boat. So yeah, this is sort of to show the building your own boat thing. You get a lot more shark teeth in this game, but everything costs a lot more. I can equip a boat I make using all the free things and now use this. I mean, this is a lot faster. So yeah, I think this is the best boat you can use for free. It is a lot better being able to fire from the boats easier. With the previous game it was almost impossible with most boats. The only ones you could really were things like the jet ski or the boats that had turrets that were exposed. Oh no. Oh I'm in the mouth. Ah oh, I'm dead. So, I wonder what would be best to buy first. Doesn't look like it's much better. This is far superior to either of these. You get a tiny bit more damage, but complete loss of accuracy. So, I'm not sure if that would be the most functional thing. Shark Blaster, Rocket Launcher. The previous Rocket Launcher was a cool gun. Definitely. Yeah, the Shark Blaster actually has less damage than the original gun, but more accuracy and the rate is just so much more that you'll get way more damage from it. The Rocket Launcher seems cool because you might be able to sort of sweep in, do a single shot and do a bunch of damage to the shark. I think the best thing to spend your money on is either boats or guns. I think at the moment, with the boats they have, I would rather spend my money on weapons, because with the weapons you can get more shark teeth by doing more damage. Okay, the best boat to use is definitely a custom one using all the free items rather than using any of the free boats. It's a lot faster and I think a bit better controls as well. So I'll go back to using that other boat after this. Oh, and I'm completely encased in this, so I can't shoot the shark. I'm not sure if the map is bigger or if it just seems bigger because I haven't got as fast boats and also all the detail around the outside just makes it look a lot crazier and cooler. So the shark comes out there. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, we won that time and I actually survived it. 100 shark teeth. I don't really see what decides how many shark teeth you get, but okay. So, what other items can you buy? 
I'm guessing there'll be something similar to last time. Ooh, what's this? So, what of this costs real money? Well, broke bucks. Ah, oh, so these are all Robux currently. I wonder if there's any items like the ducky float that you can buy. Because I haven't seen anything like that yet. Oh, yeah, there's sort of no warning of, like, a shock coming. Need to turn my sound up. 10,000 shark teeth for the golden toilet. Anyone want the golden toilet? Yeah, I don't think these are the sort of things I'd spend my money on. They're pretty useless by the looks of things, and just decorative. If I was doing this, I'd spend my money on turrets and stuff, because they're actually useful. But I wouldn't at the moment, because I don't have anyone with me that would then use them. Oh, they've got the destroyer again. Well, pretty much the same thing. So, it looks like the best boat in this game is actually the destroyer, probably. With some sort of custom setup. I'm guessing that speed, that speed... Maneuverability doesn't look like that's very good. Don't know what the arrow things are. Size. Oh, so you actually vote between. I thought before one was telling you what was. I thought before one was telling you the mode. Oh, I am the shark, and we're on the oil rig thing. So I get to sort of experiment with that. That'll be good. Yeah, so there's actually voting for different modes. This is so much cooler. Okay, ooh. The shark controls are better. So how do I use my special thing? Okay, space bar again. And then it has a cooldown which is displayed quite well. I'm guessing that red means someone's in the water over here. This is much cooler to use. Okay, I killed someone. So if I... How do I... Okay, so it looks like I can't destroy the very bottom pillars. Only the higher ones. I can't really jump out the water. Well, actually I can. I just have to point up quite a bit. So that's what I'll need to do to take out the pillars. Okay, yeah, I'm taking quite a bit of damage from these people with better weapons and stuff. I keep sort of bouncing off things. Yeah, and I can't really go out the water very easily. And all these objects really get in the way. That's a bit, you know, not very good. Ah. What? How do you even catch someone when it's doing that? I've just got to... Oh, I got some more people. I think I'm gonna die here, but at least I managed to kill lots of people. I think I'll probably save for this as a weapon. Infection or pass the bomb. I'd like to try out pass the bomb, but it looks like we're getting infection. I like how it's got all the total numbers here. So, total times I've survived, total times I've been eaten, players I've eaten, yeah, lifetime teeth that I've, all, all the teeth I've ever earned. Oh, I see it. It's firing weird. Uh, I can't really shoot from here. I see it. Yeah, I can't really shoot backwards from there. Ah, uh, I've been gobbled up. Oh yeah, it's infection, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot. Can you buy more special abilities? What are all those little spinny things? Are they... Boats? Ah oh, yeah, they're boats. I thought it would be boats. Yeah, everyone was gobbled up quite quickly in infection. I think infection's very hard to beat. Once almost everyone else has been turned into a sharks, then yeah, it's not really possible to survive. 
Okay, I'm on a boat with multiple people so that I'll be able to shoot as they drive. Um, this shark has a lot of health. What is it going to be? Is it a... Is that the normal amount of health? Because I don't think it is. So it seems that this mode is sort of normal. You just have to survive or kill the shark. It's a much cooler area. Wow, look at the detail on some of this. Okay, the shark's dead. So let me try and understand this. Okay, so... I'm guessing the places are decided by how much damage. So I got quite a few shark teeth for that. Okay, interesting. So, I... I think I'm starting to sort of understand it. Boat customization is quite cool because you can get powerful turrets and put them on the best boat and make a good combination. Oh, they've added um, seats so that we don't fall off into the ocean. Might have been better to put them the other way around so that we're facing outwards and can shoot better, but... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Can I fire backwards? Sort of, yes. Oh, I've been gobbled up already. Let's go and get some kills. Oh, there's people in this boat. I think I... Yeah, I got that one. So I'm going to come and see if I can catch this boat. What happened? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why it ended while there were still red symbols showing players, but maybe they show sharks as well. Okay, so I might do this as my last game for today because I've sort of understood it and to have more fun I sort of need to get some things. If a shark only comes up to take out the boats, then you can't really shoot it very easily at all. Oh, there's cool sound effects for when your camera goes into the water. Yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, yeah, we're probably doomed. Oh, hang on. I was flung from it. Ah. It got me. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say you can do much against the shark. It's very difficult to really have any kind of effect on the shark. Hopefully that gets easier once I've got some better gear in the game. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. Bye!